Cooking with Gloria. I'm Gloria and today I am making a Mexican tostada. It's made out of chicken and the dish is called tinga de pollo. I know that you and your family will love and will enjoy it, but first things first. My apron is on, my hands are clean, and I am ready to show you my ingredients. chicken breast, tomatoes, onion, garlic cloves, bay leaves, salt, chicken bouillon, um, chipotle salsa, sour cream, queso fresco, lettuce, and tostadas. We are so ready. So let's get ready and let's start cooking this tinga. I am going to start with my veggies. I want to wash and rinse very good my tomatoes and my lettuce. We're gonna rinse them very, very well and get them nice and clean. Look at this. This is the way I clean my lettuce. Okay, I'm gonna put it aside and this is done. I have my water boiling. I'm gonna start adding my tomatoes and I'm gonna add my garlic cloves. I am going to continue washing my chicken breast. This chicken breast, I'm gonna remove the skin completely and I'm gonna clean the chicken very good until it's nice and clean. We wanna remove the skin of the chicken. Look at this. This is the way I clean my chicken. We gotta make sure that we clean it all around. When it's nice and clean, then this is done. We want it nice and clean from the top. I'm gonna do the same thing with the next one. We're gonna go ahead and take the skin off completely. And then please don't forget, wash your hands with lots of soap and make sure that we wash them very good so we don't contaminate the rest of our ingredients. Okay, here I have my water boiling. I'm gonna add my bay leaves, three bay leaves, and I'm going to add my table salt. And I am ready to add my chicken breast. We're gonna let them cook for just a little while until they are nice and tender. Okay, this is done. I'm gonna start with my lettuce. I'm gonna start rolling it just a little bit and then I'm gonna cut it in slices, just like this, and then in little squares, just like this. So I could add it to my tostada. This is done. I'm gonna move it and reserve it on my plate. I am going to continue with my onion. My onion, I'm gonna cut right in half and then I'm gonna cut half moons. When this is done, we're gonna go ahead and separate all the pieces of onion. We're just gonna go ahead and separate them so that we are ready to add them to our pan when we are ready. This is done, I'm gonna remove it and add it to my plate on the side, just like this. Okay, my tomatoes are done. I'm gonna remove them, put them in my little cup, my little blender, and I'm going to remove the garlic cloves too. I have everything in here. What I am going to add is my chicken bouillon, and I'm going to add the can of chipotle sauce. It really doesn't come out hot, but it's a little spicy, and it gives such a delicious flavor to the chicken. Okay, let's take it a blend. When it's nice and blended, let me show you, show it to you so you could see it. Look how nice it is, nice and blended. This is done. Let's go check our chicken. The chicken is nice and tender. We're gonna remove it from the chicken broth and we're gonna let it cool down just for a little bit. Right now it's nice and cool. I'm gonna start shredding it completely, nice and shredded. Look at this. This is how we need it. This is done. Okay, I have my pan here, nice and hot. I'm gonna add about two to three tablespoons of vegetable oil, and then I'm going to add my onion. We're just gonna cook the onion just for a little bit. We don't wanna overcook it. 
As soon as it starts bubbling, then it's ready. We're gonna start adding our salsa. To this salsa, I'm gonna add two cups of the chicken broth, okay? And I am going to add my chicken. Look at this. We want it with a little bit of juice, so right now I'm adding the chicken broth right about there, okay? Now I'm just gonna move it and mix it around and I am going to cover it and let simmer in medium low heat. Look at this. This is the time when we're gonna go ahead and taste it and see if we need to add a little more salt. To my tasting, this is perfect. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, this has been cooking for about 15 minutes and now this is completely done. My friends, I wanted to show you from close up how the chicken tinga looks. My home smells delicious. I just can't wait to start making my tinga tostadas. I'll see you in a little bit. My friends, I want to show you how I'm going to do my tostada. I'm going to start by adding my sour cream right on the bottom and be generous with your sour cream. This is the way I prepare them here for my family. Okay, after I've added my sour cream, I'm gonna start adding my tinga, my chicken tinga. We wanna go ahead and spread it all on the top of the tostada. So every bite you take, you get a piece of everything. Okay, I like to do it like this when it's nice and hot and, we, and you go ahead and eat it and it's so delicious. At this point, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add my lettuce right on the top Make sure that you spread it around so every time you take a bite, you get a little bit of everything. And at the end, I'm adding my queso fresco right on the top. You guys know that I like very spicy food. So to this, I'm just gonna add just a little more of Mexican salsa, green salsa, but this is done. The chipotle just gave it such a delicious and smoky flavor, but it's not hot at all. So I'm adding my salsa. And I am so ready to taste it. I can't wait to taste it. My mouth is even watering. I'll see you in a bit. I love and I enjoy tasting my recipe. So let's see how this came out. My home smells so delicious. Excuse me. Mmm. 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 The chicken is so tender, so soft. The chipotle gave it such a delicious flavor. I just can't take it no more. I need to have one more bite. Mm. This came out perfect. My friends, if you liked and loved my recipe, please don't forget to subscribe. Give me thumbs up. Share my video on social media. Why not? Share my video on social media so more people get to know Cooking with Gloria. Don't forget to push the notification bell. 
So every time I make a new recipe, my friends, yes, you are notified. I want to say thank you so much for offering me your time. Watching my video from start to end, I really do appreciate it. Because without you, there would be no cooking with Gloria. Before I say I see you soon, I wish you nothing but the best. Peace and love. And of course, I will stay enjoying my chicken tinga tostadas. Bye-bye.